We are at the quarterfinal round stage in the Issa Schoolboy Football Manning Cup competition and we are back here at the National Stadium East Field as we prepare for a big one between Tivoli Gardens High and Jamaica College. It's pretty warm here, it really is. It's almost as if it's a setup for what this match is expected to be and that's hot. And both these teams looking for their first win in this quarterfinal round after suffering defeats in their first matches. Tivoli Gardens going down to uh, St. George's College while Jamaica College, uh, they lost out to Heidel High. But we're looking at uh, uh, institutions on different sides of the age spectrum. Tivoli Gardens would have uh, come into uh, free uh, post-independent Jamaica. Uh, just uh, pretty a pretty young school. And Jamaica College, of course, they've been around for, for quite some time, actually, for over 230 years. And even as far as your pedigree is concerned in the Manning Cup, uh, it's uh, some way apart. Uh, JC with 32 Manning Cup crowns while Tivoli Gardens they're looking to add to their two and they haven't been able to win a Manning Cup crown since the turn of this century and now having won the World Cup last season they walk out in their typical orange kit in the hope that they will turn back the dark blues and it's already been a difficult proposition for them this season they did get some points from out of the boardroom their first game, which was the opening match of the Manning Cup season, uh, saw them losing on the field of play, but they ended up winning in the boardroom. JC had used an ineligible player in that game, but JC made it right the second time they met in the group and uh, they were comfortable in doing so. And now with those, these two teams, their backs against the wall, very much against the wall, hoping to put in a really good performance not necessarily do or die but it's it's really important to to get maximum points from this matchup wherever you're watching thank you so much for joining our coverage here on the home of champions my name is donald oliver chris taylor will join us in a little while and uh, we are pretty much here for uh, the toss between these two carl tyrell is the man in the middle for this afternoon's fixture uh, jackie morrison and Andre Smith with a system Omar Hines is the fourth official. Yeah, but a lot is at stake. Really a lot is at stake for both these teams. As we take a look at the starting line of four Tivoli Gardens, you are going in with a 3-5-2 formation. The impeccably named Shakur Adir is between the sticks. Romario Haynes, uh, Horace Morgan and Shane McIntosh, the back three in the middle of the park. Ramisha uh, Roden, Dominique Goldburn, Daniel Watson, uh, Malachi Rose and Ajani Smith. And up top, Shaquel Henry with eight goals and seven assists to his name and Ryan O'Neill Francis, their number seven, their danger man, uh, da Daniel Watson, the number 10. Uh, he actually scored in the Walker final last year. He has five goals to his name so far uh, this season. Jamaica College, on the other hand, they, they do have a really good squad and they rotate quite a bit. And uh, a bit of rotation again uh, this afternoon. Raul Renton is uh, in goal. The back four of Tahir Lawrence, Renton Sales Jr., Malachi Sterling and Tariq Jones. In the middle of the park, Dylan John. He has 14 goals to his name so far this season. He's alongside Javon Mills and Jabari Howell and Jamoy Dennis, who himself has seven goals. Jane Johnson and Giovanni Taylor, who comes into the starting lineup, they have uh, 15 goals between them. So, yeah, they have goals all around the pitch, Jamaica College. And uh, we're just about ready for the start of this one. Tivoli against Jamaica College, decked, of course, in, in their dark blue kit. And they'll be kicking towards the Blue Mountain Range. Tivoli Gardens will go, of course, in the other direction towards downtown Kingston and the Caribbean Sea. But again, just warm conditions here at the National Stadium Eastfield. 
and both teams already implementing route one let's see which team will settle first trying to get a foot in there controlling the bouncing ball but he has to take a look at uh, Christopher Nicholas the man in charge of uh, Tivoli Gardens High would have been pleased with what his program has implemented so far having one trophy a trophy last season winning the walk cup here they come jc that one was put to the touch taken off jaden johnson yeah he's been a force so far this year johnson with eight goals to his name there's Davian Ferguson, technical director at JC. JC, they have the corner kick pretty early in the proceedings here. Looking for a good delivery from Sayers. Swings this one inside. Headed away back to Sayers. Sayers looking to get the cross again. And no issues there for Shakar Adir. Bright sunshine here at the Stadium Eastfield. I'm sure the players wouldn't want to exert a lot of energy. Or maybe they would want to start off strong. Here's Tivoli Gardens going forward. Lawrence. Yeah, that didn't work at all. Lost it out there, did Giovanni Taylor. They're trying to switch across to that left-hand side. Daniel Watson looking to send this one inside the area. Taylor on it looking to switch the play and it does Dennis running out of real estate in the end and it's going to be a, a goalkeeper to the gardens So it's a battle between the defending Manny Cup champions and Walker Cup winners. But so much is usually and typically expected of this Jamaica College unit every single year. Having lost their first game in the quarterfinal round. I'm sure quite a few individuals were eager to press the, the panic button but David Ferguson insists that they're all fine mentally and uh, they'll be able to put up more than a good showing against Timothy Gardens this afternoon we're yet to see the start of the proceedings here Fed inside Dylan John looking for options, trying to thread that one through. But to be fair, the Tibetan Gardens defense read that one well. Tivoli looking to respond. Good run on the byline. JC with the clearance though. Shakwell Henry can be so dangerous. Eight goals and seven assists to his name so far this season. 
The long throw implemented by Tivoli. And the clearance made by JC along that right hand side, but he's a lone ranger. And he couldn't quite win the shootout there. Tivoli again. Trying to get out of their own defensive third and again they go route one. Here they come again. JC Howell sends it out wide. To the guns, of course, they, they have to be meticulous at the back. They, they certainly don't want to give Jamaica College free nuggets in this game, Chris. Certainly not. Very important to stay tight in the back. Narrow spaces force JC wide, and so far the coverage has been good. But as you, if you think about the couple of encounters that they have had, as the game has worn on, Jamaica College have found more and more holes in the defense. So, concentration over 90 minutes essential. Taylor from distance, it's going to be difficult to control those ones from long range, especially with the, the wind that's usually here at the National Stadium East Field. But Taylor is one with ambition. Picked up the loose ball, how well? A late stamp on him. Free kick to Jamaica College. JC, they were listed as one of the favorites in this year's competition, but their squad, it, it's been a major overall. A, a lot of new players. Yeah, they were players that are part of a very strong bench last season but when you look at the starting lineups you only find names recognizable in dylan john and renson sayers jr who's now playing his trade as a center back as opposed to a flat defender and here he is with the dink inside and shakar adir one of your faves chris taylor collecting that easily yeah started the schoolboy football campaign with a bang in terms of performances there last year as well for Tivoli Gardens and had a wonderful opening game against JC. Tivoli did come out on the losing end of things but he did really well the goalkeeper. I suspect the longer this game goes on, Tivoli Gardens will grow in confidence here. trying to get out of their own defensive third and if you're going by the actual two games played we know that the, the points were overhauled in the end for their first match that ended 2-0 to JC Tivoli were given the three points and three goals but based on the actual play of the 180 minutes Tivoli haven't scored yet against Jamaica College so that's something that you certainly want to improve on today. I mean, 
I guess you'd have to say if after the 90 minutes they did manage a draw, they would say, well, that's an improvement, but based on how this group is set up, they certainly need three points. So, yeah, goals are must for the orange and black. Yeah, the way this group is set up, three points, critical. For both. Mm -hmm. Well, them being unable to score against Jamaica College has gone back years, in fact. It's a habit. It's, it's a bit of a habit, yes. In the last six fixtures, in, in fact, on the field of play, we, we should say. There's the ball inside, and uh, Adir eventually collecting. Taylor was brave, though, Giovanni Taylor. Didn't actually go after the ball to head it, just jumped with the defender. You saw how tall the defender was? Yeah, he's not the shortest either, Taylor. Look at this. Doesn't really go for it at all. Could have gone for the header. And I would like to think he probably would have won it based on his positioning. Just needed to be a little bit braver there, number 10. Great work by Dylan John, it must be said, on that right-hand side. Yeah, he's instrumental in this team and does make them tick. Dylan John. But yeah, I do take your point that, that this team is a new look in terms of based on their Manning Cup team from last year. And majority of the players in this squad, JC homegrown or JC grown. Not as much work in the transfer market this season for Jamaica College, but they're so well coached and so well drilled that the system of play, the culture of winning, that they'll always be a difficult unit to break down consistently. They weren't doing a lot of talking in pre-season Jamaica College. Their management kept a lot of things close to their chest. I'm, I'm wondering if not being in the transfer market really would also have been a, a deliberate choice. Well, they did go into the transfer market and got their assistant coach, Raymond Watson from Kingston College, who was their head coach the season before but uh, really involved in developing the youth program at Kingston College for quite a number of years, in fact. So an additional mind on the bench for JC. Speaking before the game, he was confident, as he usually is, saying that he believes that this is the game that they will get the better of Tivoli. This is the time that they'll turn it on in this quarterfinal round. But he's always speaking like that to be fair, Raymond Watson. Lovely turn on the byline, but that should be comfortably put away. Not with the level of comfort I expected, mind you. But JC do have the corner kick. There's the aforementioned coaching duo. Raymond Watson in the foreground, Davian Ferguson, of course, the technical director in the background. They have been friends for a number of years, in fact. So it wasn't a new partnership developing. Corner kick to JC. 15 minutes gone, here it comes. That's not a bad delivery at all, but Shakara Deer did enough. So that his defender was there, allowed him to clear. JC, they are coming back. Delightful ball again! And it goes through! 
JC, they take the lead. Still trying to figure out how that one went in. I thought Adir had covered it. But the cross came inside. And Johnson. Yeah. Jaden Johnson with the finish. Well, just after singing the praises of that youngster. He allows that one pass. Very surprising from the corner initially. Not the strongest punch from Deer. And then again, the ball into the telling area. Mm. Well, he should have done better there, Deer. Howell from the wide area. Pick up yet another assist, won't he? Yeah. That's a good finish, you know. John Johnson in tipping in front of him. And with that, he gets his ninth goal this season, Jaden Johnson. Disappointing attempt though from a deer, it must be said. And he's been way better than that this season, the Tivoli goalkeeper. Actually going through his hands and off the knee of, of Johnson in the end. Good to see Johnson putting himself in that position though, just in case. Striker's instinct, you would say. Offside against Lawrence. Jamaica College with the first goal of their quarter-final round as well. Came up with a blank against Tivoli. This is the ball in there. Just look at this from the keeper. I think his hands were positioned in the in the wrong way. Could it could have been a fingers up? I, I thought was a, the wrong approach from there, especially with the bones in front of him. I wonder if it's spun away should, from him as well. Yeah, but I think he should still have been looking to, to somewhat suck it in, as they would say. Put the biggest part of himself behind it. Or oh, you thought it was a googly? I, I actually thought it was. Still has to do better. Yeah. Taylor yeah. goes long. <laughs> Kept in play. Dennis. On his right foot was thinking of letting fly Javon, Ellis, Javon Mills if he had got the space. Free kick to Jamaica College. All on the turf this time. So the guards making the clearance, but nobody really up for them. Where are they going to get a goal from? That's the question. There's a bit of a collision there. Players up and about though. Oh yeah, Jaden Johnson, his ninth of the season. So Tivoli Gardens with a corner kick here. Can they manufacture something? Ramisha Roden is over on that far side. Delivers well. The header is just wide. That was a telling ball inside the area, you know. 
but the direction was a little bit wayward in the end. Nice opportunity for Tivoli to get right back into it. Yeah, totally agree with you. Nice delivery into the area. Uh, should have done better there. Henry with the delivery of the Shackwell variety. Lawrence picked up by Mills did well to switch the play Malachi Sterling here they come to the gardens trying to just put it back to the left hand side, Ryan and Neil Francis. Carl Terrell goes into the pocket, shows the yellow card to Romario Haynes. Download the Sportsmax app today from the Google Play or the App Store. You can watch Schoolboy Football in Jamaica free on Sportsmax Plus once you download the app. There is going to be a water break and it's certainly needed in these conditions, but Jamaica College would be pleased with what's happened so far. Chris Taylor, Jaden Johnson, the difference maker so far having converted and uh, the dark blues ahead in this contest. Yeah, which is where they need, they need to be. Tivoli would be disappointed so far they have been switched on for the most part defensively and to see an error like that come from their goalkeeper Adir would, would really be disappointing to concede. Seventh goal they've conceded against Jamaica College so far this season. And once again, they'll have to work from behind. As I said, the importance for both these teams to get three points here. Yeah, because group is a, is a tough one, isn't it? Um, they would have lost their first game to, to Heidel late in the game. And uh, I think a lot of people expect... An 80th minute strike, to be exact. A, a lot of people would expect them and St. George's College and Heidel to be in contention. And the fact that they would have lost out their first matchup with the Heidel would have put them back they had to or they have to get over this hurdle because next team that they face will be St. George's College and uh, although Jamaica College are they are defending champions St. George's College they have, they have looked good this this season so far play resumes after the water break for sure, and St. George's did well with that 2-0 win over Tivoli Gardens without their main player going forward, especially in Brian Burkett, who was out due to cards. 
So yeah, performing well under under Neville Bell. This group is going to be well. All groups we have seen so far this season. I think both competitions, rural and urban, are very close. As we see uh, another yellow card produced by Carl Tyrrell. Javard Mills in the in the referee's book now. I think a lot of persons have struggled to to call the top two from either of the four groups. Two in the Manning Cup, two in the Da Costa Cup. No, I just think that they aren't brave. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy Gans looking for that equaliser here, and uh, JC unable to get out of their own way there. And by saying brave, it would certainly mean that it's not easy to call. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, that's a, a lovely find out wide. Wonderful collection, too. Dennis was a cut down. Free kick to Jamaica College. This could also be dangerous. So the four man wall set up. There's a dink inside. Well, that's a lovely take, you know. Oh, that's really lovely by Jamaica College at the back. So confident in playing it out. Just beautiful football by the Dark Blues. And then they lost it. But it was good while it lasted. Never panicked in that situation. Tivoli on the prowl, flag has stayed down. Ryan O'Neill Francis of Tivoli Gardens trying to be in the thick of things. Sayers getting his troops together. It is a long throw held up in the wind. JC handles it. Couldn't quite break. But now they may be able to do so. They have numbers forward. Taylor on it. Sends it out wide. Two to aim for inside the box. At the back post. Oh, well. Taylor had made the run in the middle. It had bypassed him. And then arriving at the back post. Dylan John. Here's a ball swung in at the back post. Wonderful stuff. Oh, what a save that is. Beautiful football all round. Delicious ball inside the box. Goldburn coming in at the back post. But Renton, Raul Renton, good pulling save. off a stunner there. Yeah, good save. That was heading in. Low down, difficult. Used his body to make the save as well. Got down the right hand, but it came off his chest as well. What a delivery it was from Shaquel Henry. Mm, good from the wide area there, from the Tivoli number 11. Nice build up. That just shows how dangerous Tivoli can be. We've seen that all season from them. How dangerous and skillful, skillful individuals. 
They just need to put themselves together more as a team, Tivoli. Sometimes I, I get the picture that they, or I get the feeling that they rely much on individual brilliance more than team effort. Corner kick for Tivoli Gardens, heads go up. They'll try again. Francis ran into traffic. Route one for JC. Neatly done by Johnson. Lawrence will get there. Too heavy on that pass. Watson. Taylor returns the favor. Late challenge coming in from Horace Morgan. inside here manages to make the pass out wide and Goldburn is on it over 10 minutes to go before the half-time interval. I'm sure the heat wouldn't have helped in encouraging the players to to run in this first half. It's been a, a bit pedestrian to be fair. His past school is coming up next, Kingston College. Again, look. Again, look. Again, look. Going up against St. Andrew Technical. That's expected to be a big game as well. Nice work by Daniel Watson. 
did have a lot more room on the right hand side but he's so left sided went back into the crowd won a free kick well, looks good on the ball easy on the ball does Watson there's a delivery Malachi Rose referee says play on you know that's exactly what Jamaica College is doing bursting forward ball played inside it's Johnson looking for a second the keeper did well on that occasion Johnson has kept it alive and the shot oh that's just wide should have been finished three on one situation I do think it's Mills who got the kick in the end But yeah, what a chance. Good build-up play, very well done by Malachi Sterling, and that finish was just too central. Adair did well, but you would expect him to make the save there and then that strike wide in the end. But great work from Malachi Sterling, just to hold it there. Then the first touch, you know, from Johnson wasn't the best. Took it with the outside of the right boot, Johnson, but it wasn't the best, then worked back for it. And that was comfortably wide in the end with the deflection. The first touch didn't allow Jane Johnson to open up his body enough. Yeah, enough, exactly. Almost cuffed the shot, actually. Mm. So Andrew Technical in the house. They're coming up a little bit later on. Corner kick in the meantime to Jamaica College looking for a second here. No issues there for a deer. JC, they are winning most of the 50-50 battles. They just look a little bit sharper. In this first half, Dylan John. Lawrence along that flank to John. coming up that's not a bad delivery at all I think you've got fingertips on it still think I almost overran it in fact got too far under it and made it difficult for himself. Luckily for him, no JC heads nearby. Not close enough. Sterling. So that was a bit wayward. Tivoli again. Snapshot taken by uh, Sackwell Henry. Much better than that. Hand of apology goes up. And he hears a crowd bellowing in his ears. Henry, leading goal scorer, leading assist maker as well. Their number 11. But that one was a bit rushed. Ball played out wide. Francis. Oh, that first touch was too much. Here, 
Trying to pip in there, Lawrence, but a little bit too eager, according to referee Carl Terrell. Morgan. Again, the pass intercepted. It's been a little difficult for Tivoli Gardens in this first half. Getting the first goal can be so crucial in a football game, I can tell you that. I'm sure members of the Tivoli Gardens squad will be filled with regret that they've given JC the opportunity to get that lead so easily. Could have been avoided. And not to say that they are not in it, but it's a little bit more difficult now. Chances have been few and far between for both these teams as Tivoli launches another attack here, eerily. And that one is nodded wide of the mark by Watson. Careful. Tivoli Gardens, they continue to press to their credit. Football can be at times a game of mistakes. Ball over the top. Not the best clearance that was. Lawrence now has it. Watson. Mills. Haynes was in the way. He did well. This is Francis. Goldburn ahead of him. Was trying to get his teammate involved there. Henry. But here's the ball inside. Oh, what a good find that was, you know. And maybe a little bit disappointed that couldn't get that one on target. Shaquille Henry. But I think it was on Mario Haynes who had sent that one inside. And that was a wonderful searching pass. John nods it forward. JC gets a free kick in position A1. wasn't Haynes doing O'Donnell, it was Francis. 
actually, with that talented left foot. He has had about three or four times that he's delivered from that area, Francis. They'll have to do some defending now, though. Who's going to take this one for Jamaica College? I know Taylor wants it. Well, Sears also wants it. Johnson also wants it. So take your pick. No, I think Johnson will leave it alone. Maybe Taylor. Maybe a little bit more finesse. Then again. It's Sears. Adir had to do well. But it was a comfortable height for him. Not bad from the Vincentian. Renson Sears. They're appealing for a handled ball, but the whistle only goes to say half time is here. And Jamaica College with the advantage. Jaden Johnson getting his ninth goal of the season. Really just being in the right place at the right time for the Dark Blues, Tivoli Gardens, they've created a couple of opportunities themselves, but I'll tell you what, they need more because they've failed to score against JC the last few occasions. But JC with the advantage, 1-0 over Tivoli at the break. Action on Sports Max 2, Toulouse against Liverpool, Thursday, 12:45 p.m., 1:45 in the Eastern Caribbean. Ajax will meet up with Brighton and Albion. That should be a cracker, actually. Thursday, 12:45, 1:45 ECT on Sports Max 2, and also on Thursday, West Ham against Olympiacos in Europa League action, 3 p.m., 4 p.m. ECT on Sports Max 2, and Rangers against Parta Prague Thursday 3 p.m. 4 p.m. ECT and uh, Europa Conference League Thursday 12.45 p.m. 1.45 p.m. ECT Victoria Prison up against Dinamo Zagreb and then Aston Villa against AZ Alkmaar Thursday 3 p.m. 4 p.m. ECT Welcome back to the National, <laughs> the National Stadium East Field and the Jamaica College. They are ahead over Tivoli Gardens by a goal to nil. Chris Taylor is still with me and um, it hasn't been the most exciting uh, game in the, of, of the season. But there have been moments that I've been impressed with, especially from Tivoli Gardens. Some, some real telling deliveries inside the area that they haven't been able to convert. And uh, on the other hand, JC, they've been trying to, to move on the break and it hasn't really worked for them, but still, the, we've, seen both, we've seen moments as Goldburn is taken out of the action, which is a, a little surprising to be fair, Chris Taylor. And they have to wonder if it is a, a, a case of injury. But the second half is on the way. Tivoli Gardens will now be kicking towards the Blue Mountain range and JC in the dark blue will be going towards the Caribbean Sea. So Dwayne Johnson in two goals, three assists in his season. Tivoli need goals. And yeah, Goldburn not really getting amongst the chances really in, the, in that first half. Not enough. 
at some point Tivoli will have to commit more players forward but yeah Henry and Francis from the wide areas have been good nice deliveries but if there's no one in the, nobody in the box in orange shirts it doesn't make sense no it doesn't well JC going the other way looking for that second goal to the byline pulls it across I think he was actually looking for the square on that occasion uh, Jamoy Dennis I actually think he was trying to catch out the goalkeeper in the end the way he in step drove that ball from an acute angle I think he was actually going for goal Dennis His stature and build certainly reminds me of one former JC number six from last season What are you if you're talking about Jamali Bennett? No. No. Let me give you another clue. Thank you. Waterhouse. Oh. You're right, actually. Yeah. You're actually right. <laughs> Reminds me a lot of Romain Blake. Yeah. Built just like him. Similar walk and everything. Plays a different position, of, of yeah. course. Blake Similar of course, style as well. Blake, of course, is nowhere near the wing when he no. goes forward. <laughs> He's yeah, certainly a central player. Started out in defensive midfield, plays centre back in the end for majority of his JC time, and even in the Jamaica Under 20 team as well. Ball coming inside the area, and no issues there for Renton. Jamaican College, they have to be careful though. They have to take the chances that they do create. Ball coming inside the area and no issues for Raul Renton. John. Howell. Lovely ball through. It was close to being JC2. Another chance for Giovanni Taylor. What a pass it was from Howell. Taylor did the right thing to go with the left foot. Ball coming inside the header. Wide of the mark, but yeah. Those are the chances that they, they really do need to convert JC. Yeah, they should have had more than one goal already. Jamaica College, had they been better with their finishing. Mind you, the same can be said for Tivoli Gardens. To a lesser extent. Dwayne Johnson trying to play it back inside. They're lining up here. Eventually the whistle goes. And the free kick in a dangerous spot for Tivoli Gardens. Well, who's lining up for this? Shaquille Henry, the premier candidate, one would think. The team's leading scorer and assist maker. I think Watson is also beside him, the captain. Yep. But I think this is all Henry. It's Henry. The save is made and the follow-up is put away. The flag stays down. And it's a substitute. Dwayne Johnson. Well, he's the rock for Tivoli High now. 
and he gets his third goal of the season. And Timothy back level, 1 1 here at Stadium East. Super sub. Not dealing with it was Renton and allowed the opportunity. Disappointment for the Jamaica College bench. But Tivoli Gardens, just like that, through the wall was Henry. And yeah, can't put it back into that era. Can you, Renton? Had to be pushing it wide of his upright and just welcomed the finish. And yeah, what a good one it was from Johnson fully aware of what was happening. It's been such a long time since Tivoli Garden celebrated a goal against Jamaica College and now they are back level in a crucial quarterfinal round tie. The whistle goes again. That was a, a tough challenge on Tariq Jones. Yeah, it's been over 10 years for Tivoli Gardens. So massive defeats at the hands of Jamaica College. And this one step in the right direction, getting a goal. Malachi Sterling is behind this one. I'm not sure if he's thinking of going goalwards. He does have support inside the area. But he does go goalwards and it goes straight into the wall. Dinked back inside. Lovely first touch. What a block. Fantastic stuff by Timothy Gardens at the back. Taylor is joking again, you know. It was Taylor in there. Why was he taking a touch there, Giovanni Taylor? Might have been slightly behind him, but frustration for Dylan John who had done well to get the ball past the goalkeeper and across the area and yeah Taylor just didn't move like a nimble striker did he Tivoli yeah the flag is going to be up now here it is from John nice touch then across the area I, I don't think it was that far behind him that he couldn't have used his left foot just no it was slightly behind it him. was behind him yeah, but the first touch not the best why the turn there that touch has got to carry it back in front of him so he doesn't have to turn and i think that's what davian ferguson is saying as well once you have to turn like that you lose your bearings and, you know, chance wasted again dylan john on it now for jc Swinging this one inside, there are three JC players trying to go at it, and maybe Tivoli can break here. Nope, they've lost it. Oh, good work to win it back. He's had a, a pretty decent game, and the ball played through to Johnson. Johnson, Johnson plays it back. Francis. Well, it's about time to began this game to play. Game coming a bit more open now. So what the crowd wanted. Francis' ball inside the area. It goes to the back post. Kept alive. This one is drilled. And it's a wasted drill. Yeah. Poor decision in the end. Yeah, Ramisha Roden. Definitely like Francis in the wide areas, though. Very talented left foot. And that was put on the edge of the six yard area, and it was problems for JC. But again, Tivoli not committing enough players into the area. By the way, word coming in in the other quarter final game that Mona have taken the lead against St. Catherine. Second half on the way, 1 0 to Mona. Not for the first time. Mm. Both those teams coming from the same group as well. Challenge had come in strong from the JC captain.
Here's the kick coming in. That really was fired in with some pace, you know. Mali King started the game on the bench, is getting ready to come on. And so too, the man who I considered the engine room of their midfield last year. It's got to be, yeah, no surprise there. It's got to be Taylor that's taken off. Lacking confidence, Taylor, and I do think that's the right change quite a few half opportunities just not been his game came off the bench against Eltham did Giovanni Taylor played well but today he's not been sharp Jamali Dennett has, uh, De Dennis well Jamali Bennett has come on for Dennis as well Bennett hasn't featured a lot this season, to be fair. Not sure if he had actually suffered some sort of injury or they're trying to get him back into full fitness role. But last year, he was easily the fittest player on that JC squad. Yeah. And he made Sometimes big, running 12 kilometers a game. He made a big difference to the midfield, Bennett. I thought he did. One of the players of the season for Jamaica College. But a lot's been going on in the camp. There's a big black band on. On his knee. Right knee. Amali King on as well, who scored against Eltham, scored the first goal, in fact, in that 3-1 victory. Ball sent inside the area. Tivoli will try again. A lovely ball inside at the back post, and the header is wide of the mark. They're coming into their own, Tivoli Gardens. And I like how Francis attacked that at the back post. That is what I wanted to see from Taylor in that opportunity we spoke about in the first half. Yes, he didn't get it on target, but brave attempt. Ball touched inside. Nice first touch, but the shot dragged wide in the end. Has a good left foot, Sterling. Mm, he does. Good technique in terms of the instep strike as well. So he would be disappointed that he didn't do better. Sterling went down a little belatedly. He's holding the side of his head. It's by the ears. Might be ringing at the moment. Oh, yeah. Ball. That's, that's always scary, especially if he didn't go down right away. Crowd building all the time. They have another game to look forward to right after this one. There's the Kingston College faithful. Here early. You have to take not majority of the car park as well, I can tell you. <laughs> They don't necessarily carpool, do they? No. <laughs> <laughs> they want as many purple cars to be present as possible. Can't blame them. It's a wonderful color. Mm. Don't egg them on. Oh, they don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Whatever Coach Jackson told them at the interval has certainly worked. Francis collects that one. And uh, he'll have to settle for the corner kick. Yeah, I like Francis as a wide player. I really do. 
Ryan and Neil Francis. Here's a corner kick. And JC striding forward. Mills continuing, couldn't supply the pass. King was there waiting on him. Wins it back though. Lofted inside the area. Good work by Haynes. Shots from distance. That was coming from Howell. It was looking for his fifth goal this season, Jabari Howell. Tim the Gardens will make another change here. One change has already made the difference, and Romain Spence is coming on the park. And he's going to be replacing Malachi Rose. JC inside the area on his right foot deciding not to shoot and Dylan John you can sense that he immediately regretted it if you're in that position you have to score especially with the back end of having scored 14 times already this season Here they come again. Fed inside once more and come through to Adir. awarded I wonder if to the gardens they think that Jamaica College ripe for the picking. Mills, will he require attention from off the bench? No, I don't think so. Jones. Oh, the follow through there was dangerous. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is this a yellow, a second yellow card that's going to be shown? Well, Haynes was on a yellow, yes. That's a second yellow card shown to Haynes. Yeah, just took his time, Carl Terrell, and very unfortunate here for Tivoli Gardens. Yeah, lots of concentration here from Haynes. The truth is, when you're on a yellow, you just can't go into challenges like that. Oh, it's uh, a follow through. You know, yesterday in the <laughs> Premier League, we spoke about this, Donald. The need, why, why the need for such a, a wild clearance? I, I can't describe it in any other fashion. Because then you run the risk of these kind of things happening. That follow through, he then ends up with studs in the mid drift of the JC attacker. Why? And that's exactly what.
Cultural is saying. Yes, it's just unnecessary. In fact, that ball was one he actually could have probably controlled. Wow. This could make a big difference. Could. Could. JC with a free kick sent inside the header. Goal! Jamaica College in front once again. And it's Dylan John. Well, it had to be their top goal scorer. And that is 15 for their number seven on the season. It was necessary. And they are ahead once again by two goals to one. That's a top class finish from Dylan John. Top class into the far triangle. Knew he had to glance it off his head. Rose well. Just look at how he cushioned his head as well. Oh, that was brilliant from JC's number seven. No chance for Adair. And yeah, the gimmicks continue, but that was a, a really good finish. Nice delivery into the area. And a finish of the highest quality. Well, he's trying to dribble through the entire field and was cut down. It's a free kick to Timothy Gans now. Shaquan Henry on it, that right hand side. Shaquel Henry. Shaquel, yep. sorry. Well, well, well. You know, just a couple of minutes before, Dylan John gave up an opportunity, a fairly easy one, when he had cut inside the penalty area, decided not to shoot, ended up passing and giving it away. Yeah, that's what you call now taking responsibility. But some of the guards looking to come from behind again. There's the ball inside the area. No issues there for Renton. Wasn't the best clearance, but it was enough. King. Nicely done. Touches this one inside. And Timothy Gardens back in numbers. Remains Pence gathering that one. JC. Well, we have to be careful to be the guns at the back. Johnny Smith there with the infringement. This one swung inside and too much on it. Kept in play, however. Corner kick to JC. So JC taking their time out of this corner kick. Here it comes. Punched away, not clear properly. The shot comes into the crowd. And it's another corner kick, but first a water break. And yeah, it's really picked up in the second half. It truly has. Yeah, definitely. And that man, exquisite finish. Excellent headed finish by Dylan Jordan. 15 on the season and a big lead for Jamaica College, an important lead for the defending champions. And Tivoli yet again trail Jamaica College. Lots of work for Tivoli Gardens yet again. Two-time champions, 1976 and 1999. Their two Manning Cup titles. It's been a while. And the 31-time champions finding them their way in front yet again. 
question is, can they maintain it this time? Yeah, we mentioned the score between Monens and Catherine. It was Romarian Thomas who actually scored the goal there. Uh, separating the teams at the moment. But yeah, there are a few goals in this one, Chris. Yeah. Jamaica College opened the scoring from this delivery. And Howell with the assist yet again. Six assists on the season for Howell. And Jaden Johnson finding a finish. Should have done better there. He's really a good goalkeeper, the Tivoli custodian. And needed better hands. Tivoli got right back in it from the free kick. Henry with the initial kick. And it wasn't saved properly or well enough from Renton. And then that for the go-ahead. Dylan John into the far triangle. 2-1 Jamaica College. And that's where we are at. Green Johnson's goal for Tivoli, by the way, was his third. Here's a shot from distance, though. He had to put it over the bar. Shakura Deer. It was central, but he had to keep his eyes on it. Bennett, the substitute on. Good attempt. Fingertip save. Here's the corner kick. Adair was impeded. In some degree of pain here. Shakur Adair. Really a mountain to climb for Tivoli Gardens in this one against JC. Jamaica College striking right after Tivoli. or down to 10. Nodded inside. No issues there. Francis with the throw. Watson trying to return the ball to Francis. Chaud lifts it out wide. Dylan John on it. Go! 
We see Terry Gary coming on, or will be coming on in short order. And here they are, another blue wave. Ball played out wide. Powell. This one is slipped through. Lawrence comes all the way across. John's delivery. Was there a high boot in there? Well, we know that in that Mona St. Catherine came that a couple of penalties were missed in there as well. But I think we're getting word that said Catherine, they have equalized. But we're gonna try and get that confirmed. In the meantime, the change is being made. And uh, Jaden Johnson is out of the action now, having scored the opening goal. Thierry Garrick replaces him. Tell me your parents are football fans without telling me that they are football fans. Yeah. By the way, it is confirmed that St. Catherine have scored. Both teams have missed penalties. Nothing unusual for Mona so far this season. It's probably about the third or fourth that they have missed. Third, in fact. But yeah, St. Catherine have equalized. Big goal for St. Catherine there. So one all in the second half. Mona did get the better of them. To the group stage, yep. Although both those matches were were pretty close. Shot from long range didn't go too far. Do you remember in Mona's first game against Kingston College, they had the lead, got a penalty, missed it, and then conceded that game ended one all. Somewhat of a similar story here. Well, here's Timothy Gardens. Just running into traffic on that occasion once more. Lawrence is doing well. Look at this run. Well, it was actually Sterling, actually, who was making his way forward. Malachi Sterling, but just uh, ran out of steam there in the end as we take a look at the Sports Max at moment, and that was a lovely goal. What a finish that was from Dylan John, guiding it inside the far corner, and it gave JC the lead once again in this one. And that's the Sports Max at moment of the game. And here's another set piece for JC. Swung inside, headed away. Picked up on the edge of the box. Free kick awarded.
Well, free kick for JC. Sayers is there, so to Bennett. Sayers, wonderful save. Shakur Deer in the way again. Yeah, good save by Deer. Adir. And strong enough hands that he didn't put it back into the danger area because there were some navy blue shirts lurking. Yeah. Yeah, did very well. Nice kick by Sales. Tivoli, can they respond here? Just losing possession at the critical time when he was about to let fly. Lovely work out wide, but the ball had the gone out of play. Yeah. yeah, over on the far side, it's going to be a throw. Garrick running out of real estate. There had to be careful there. Morris Morgan almost back to the corner. Very good work by the Tivoli number 20. Again, still favoring that right knee, Jamali Bennett. He is definitely not 100%. Now no, we see not. why he hasn't been playing. Strong challenge coming across there. Again, Horace Morgan in the thick of things for Timothy Gardens at the back. Nicely done in getting by defenders. Francis trying to get that one inside. Two JC attackers should have done better there. It was a two on one scenario. It just didn't ensure that the bones went their way. Mills and King. Getting forward. But yeah, Bennett is struggling. I, I know there's a Tivoli player down as well, but I'm not sure why Bennett was brought on. Look at that. And it's so obvious that he, he can't move properly at all. Hmm. No doubt the youngster wants to play. As they all do. I think he's what, just 17 years old now, Jamali Bennett?
play resumes. Watson goes long. Here they come again, Tivoli. Trying to move quickly. Oh, he he tried to attack that one, and the referee has pointed to the spot, has he? Or is it for a goal kick? Goodness me, yeah. <laughs> it is for a goal kick. <laughs> Based on his angle, he had to wonder at first, but the second assistant didn't move from his position, and that was an indicator that it certainly wasn't a penalty. Yeah, Christopher Nicholas. Yeah, I don't think there was anything in that. Well, it was, it was a proper chuck off, wasn't it? Yeah. By, by Francis. That was hopeful. Tivoli Gardens. They don't have a lot of numbers back and they could pay here, but a deer makes a save yet again. Yeah. Yep, Garrick couldn't quite put that away. A deer didn't know too much about it to be fair. But here they come again. Ball swung across. Shin was Dylan John was trying to line up an effort there from just inside the box. Jones with a throw. Illegal throw. Johnson has won it. So free kick. Five minutes of stoppages to be played. Ball over the top again, but a deer comes out to collect. Tivoli trying to get back in this one. A man short. JC just trying to hold on here, but who are the contenders for a player of the game, Chris? At this point, from a JC perspective, I would say either the captain or Sterling at left back. I think probably Sears, though. Assist for the second goal and had a really a couple good strikes that that were well saved and both himself and, and sterling have been good actually sterling playing in the central position today
but he has been so, so instrumental going forward, funny enough. Funny enough. Who, Sterling? Yeah. Yeah, always willing to go forward. One of the few I, I like players Jabari. brought from outside. He was formerly of Ulmers. I like, Jab Sterling. I like Jabari Howell in this game as well and what he has offered. The thing I find with, with Howell is that he has these good five-minute spurts and then he, <laughs> he goes off into the wilderness. But yeah, and had an assist as well for the first goal. He did. Howell. Not the highest quality of this game, it must be said. Uh, but yeah, JC looked like they might just get the job done. Yeah, the Vincentian might get it. Yeah. It's too much on it. Keep away from Mills. JC looking for one more here. Tivoli Gardens now. They are progressing well, aren't they? Ball inside and really close to Raul Renton. Not much time to go. Two defeats could certainly put Tivoli out of this competition. Well, a goal here may just do it. It's a Mali King. Oh, look, 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 look. John is going to eat up a, a few more seconds here near the corner flag. It's almost like a battle in the animal kingdom at the corner flag. Very well done by Sears yet again to break up the play. These are the runs that you talk about with Sterling. It's mm -hmm. not the first free kick that Sterling has won, Would in, have a, won exactly. in, a, in an attacking position. That's a good left foot on him as well. Suffering from a, a big bit of cramp apparently is Sterling. I do like him as a player though. It's John who is behind this four. No, it's Bennett actually. It's with that injured right foot. <laughs> oh, it is Bennett. I'm a bit surprised that yes. he want to take it. Maybe it's Sterling with the left. Opportunity for Jamaica College. And that's the last bit of action for this one. Jamaica College coming out on top by the odd goal in three. And Dylan John with the winner there in the second half. After Tivoli Gardens had equalized through their super sub, Dwayne Johnson. But it wasn't enough. Another defeat for Tivoli Gardens. And, and now the contemplation begins ahead of their final game in the quarterfinal round group. Played some good football at times, Tivoli Gardens, but especially in that second half. They did convert once, but couldn't really add to that effort. And after 90 minutes, it's Tivoli Gardens 1, Jamaica College 2.
call to rail the man with the whistle. Jamaica College on the front foot. And Adir collecting well. And after 16 minutes, Adir, not a strong presence there in the six yard area, and you would pay the price. Howell from the right. And yep, not collecting well, Adir, and allowing the opportunity for Jaden Johnson, who needed no invitation and added his ninth of the season. Jaden Johnson assists Jabari Howell. It was his sixth. And Tivoli trailing yet again. This opportunity just after the goal from the near post and headed just wide from Henry, their leading goal scorer, Shaquille Henry. This was a wonderful save low down from Roll Renton. Down with the right foot. That coming in from Goldburn and Tivoli making their intentions clear. Jamaica College would continue to drive forward. Sterling doing well to provide. And Johnson unable to finish. Sterling playing at centre back. Liking to drive forward. And playing the provider. JC with a wasted opportunity there. Johnson should have done better. Then that free kick, which was comfortably saved, sails with the attempt. He had a couple of free kicks on target, did Sales. And JC continued to come forward. Giovanni Taylor with the left foot had an off day, Taylor. We have seen better from him. And then after 51 minutes, it's Tivoli Henry. with the, the equaliser. Dwayne Johnson, the substitute, on and converting his third of the season. Renton putting it back into the business here. You just can't do that from the Henry free kick. And Dwayne Johnson, who hadn't been on for more than five minutes, making it all square, one apiece. But JC, they continue to come forward and they would have a man advantage when Romario Haynes would pick up his second yellow card, sent off a wild challenge and stood in the midriff of the JC attacker and right away sails with the delivery. Dylan John with the finish. His 15th of the season, leading goal scorer for Jamaica College. And that was one of the finishes of the season from Dylan John. Sales with the assist. Picking up his second assist of the season is Sears. And that was a lovely finish. JC with keep that lead. That was on target from Bennett. Trying to bend it into the top corner and well saved. Had a couple of saves to make. Did Adair. And that one he did well. Sales with another attempt on. Adair low down to his left and pushed it out of the business area. You could see the Jama Jamaica College blue shirts lurking. Amali King and company. And Adair making the save. You would make another one here as well. Made some big saves, but it wasn't enough. JC 2 1. Look at that, 16 shots, 9 on target for JC. And they had 2 goals to show for it. 3 on target from 7 attempts for Tivoli. They had their moments, but couldn't get enough goals. They fail again at the hands of Jamaica College. 3 yellow cards shown by referee Carl Terrell. And a red card as well. And we spoke about him. Oh yeah, unfortunate for him, Romario Haynes. Majority of the possession for Jamaica College at 55%. And 7 saves made by Adair as well and there was a crucial one that he needed to save as well he couldn't get it done so Jamaica College after 45 minutes after well 90 minutes they come away with a win by two goals to one Kimani is with our man of the match none other than their captain Renson Sears Thank you, Chris. I'm joined by junior brand manager of Digicel, Kadeen Webley. She'll be presenting the Digicel Man of the Match to Renson Sayers Jr. of Jamaica College. Renson, may I have a little bit of a chat with you now. You got the three points, the first of the quarterfinals for your team. How ecstatic are you about that? Um, well, in the first game, we gave away um, three points, so we know so we have to come back and get the three points today. Yeah, you have some writing on your wrist. I'd love to know what exactly is written on your wrist tape. Well, it's um, rest in peace to my grandmother and my friend Ozzy Bellingy, and um, love mom and love dad. All right, and in terms of your aspirations this season, do you think JC can defend their championship this year? Well, you know, we come from the home of greatness, so we can always defend our champion. We're going for all three trophies this season, 
Um, we know we have a little slacks, but we're going to do it this year. All right, thank you, Renson. All the best. Thanks. Yeah, Renson Sayers Jr. there of Jamaica College. I'll now be joined by Coach Nicholas of Tivoli. Coach Christopher Nicholas, here he is. Coach, you did well to get back into the game, but really? it went down, downhill after that mm -hmm. second yellow to your defender. What are your thoughts on the game? It was a very good game. It was a very good game, as you can see, you know. These guys, you know, they give all they can. And I am pleased with it. It's football, you know. One, mom one moment of the game, that's what cost us, you know. So, you can live with that. And you're in a difficult position now in the table, but how yeah. confident are you that you can maybe screech you out of the group? Well, a very difficult position. We just have to just do what we have to do. Right. And just go for the victory against Hayden. All right, thank you, Coach. All right, thank you. Yeah, that was Coach Nicholas of Tivoli Gardens. I'm joined now by the winning coach, Coach Ferguson. You got the three points, Coach. Not very straightforward in the end, but I'm sure you're pleased by that performance. Yeah, pleased about the results. Um, <clears throat> the performance, we knew it would have been like this. We have some issues internally. Um, so we knew we weren't as smooth and fluent as we, we, we can be. But the most important thing is that we won the game. And in terms of those issues you outlined internally, you want to give shine some light um, on that? Just some niggles, some niggles, some injuries and stuff. Um, nothing to really worry about. All right, thank you, Coach. Looking forward to it. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. So Jamaica College come away with the three points, the defending champions. They defeat Tivoli Gardens by two goals to one. They are on the board in this quarterfinal group. Jamaica College here at the Stadium East Field. Digicel Manning Cup action. Yo, Issa. My schoolboy football look this season. People them ready, you know. All right then, we go. Manning Cup. Only for your shield, you make we link up. We watch the champions cup. Ben Francis, what a cup. Which team are win the championship this season? Yo, Issa. For one day, for school, I got finished the league and meet now. Which you that got collect the golden boat and be the favorite for the people? Yo, Issa, me see fans are roll out all about be a flag for a vehicle. Looking at the crowd, bus load of supporters from school and community too. People nothing at the stand, some are the superior, they must have a bunch of on TV too. Country and turn your night for one reason. Issa, schoolboy football, good job, look one, look all. Which team are the best and I go better than the best and if I hear the beat your chest? Competition and never have a nice up. People love see when boys get nice up on the field. I'm going to 